Researchers at the University of Calgary and Alberta Health Services' Tom Baker Cancer Centre are examining the potential use of the Rio virus as a treatment for multiple myeloma, a cancer that affects blood cells. Scientists injected the naturally occurring virus into animal models containing the human multiple myeloma cell lines and found that the virus killed cancer cells while leaving normal healthy cells alone. Conventional cancer treatments such as radiation therapy and chemotherapy kill both cancerous and healthy cells. The cells that we tested, the vast majority of them are very sensitive with regard to the myeloma and virus. So that was really where the, the uh, story came from. And very eloquently in animal models, it looks like the animals essentially are, are in fact cured of myeloma uh, with injections from this virus. Real virus is a common virus that most people are exposed to in their lives, but it does not result in significant illness. Scientists hope this research lays the foundation for an early phase clinical trial using Rio virus for the treatment of multiple myeloma. I don't think that Rio virus or any of the oncolytic viruses by themselves are likely going to be home run kind of drugs by themselves. I think they need to be put in combination with other treatments. And the trick right now in the lab is to try and associate what other treatments work very well with real virus. And in the case of myeloma, we have some preliminary data to suggest that some of the standard treatments, which were not standard even five years ago, that's how fast this is moving, but some of the current uh, drug treatments that are targeted towards myeloma patients actually work really well with real virus, or in fact, real virus works very well with them. This same group of researchers has already started clinical trials using real virus on lung and prostate cancer. The sites that seem to have a lot of activity with real virus are prostate cancer, breast cancer, lung cancer are some of the sites that we've looked at. We've also looked at some of the childhood cancers in terms of neuroblastoma. We haven't published that yet, but it looks like it's quite sensitive. The biggest issue with real virus by itself is that the immune system does in fact recognize it as a virus. And what does our body do when we see a virus? It mounts an immune response to try to clear it. And so some of these drugs may well not only affect the immune system in terms of not allowing the virus to be eradicated, but more to the point, they may actually help the virus trigger the immune system to an anti-cancer kind of immune process. And so that you're getting kind of a two effect for your buck scenario. One is the direct effect of the virus on the tumor, and two is the indirect effect of the virus stimulating the immune system to come back and fight the tumor. So that may be where the synergy really helps. Whether ultimately we're going to change the cure rate with this or not is still, I think, unknown, but that's certainly our motivation.